you know, when I look at you and you, you give me that little face that you do, oh. I love, I love the, the way you look at me and you show me the love and, and you're so considerate of me and uh, you put up with all the dumb things that I say and do and you're always there for me. So I, I adore having you as my companion. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and we're getting married! We're getting married. Wow. On January 6, 2002, at uh, Seven West, uh, it's a little cafe restaurant in uh, on Charles Street, Seven Charles Street. Ever we saw each other like every day, every day for like a month straight after our first meeting. So, yeah, yeah. And uh, within six months, we moved in together. Their relationship is fun, very outgoing, very happy, really caring and devoted. It's, it seems like a, a magical, loving relationship. Good combination of opposites. They're just cute together. Loving. Loving. They truly care for each other. A very loving relationship, <laughs> which is always good to see, especially if you're getting married. <laughs> Will has this octave that he goes to and he likes to sing. We both sing a lot, but we're really, really bad at it. Ah! <laughs> he, he complains a lot. We joke around that uh, if he was an action hero, his name would be Mr. Complainer. He would like fly in and start to complain about situations. <laughs> That's his power. <laughs> I think one thing that I love about Sean is um, like his heart, like it sounds really cheesy, but like he's got a really pure heart. Um, like his, the love he gives to his friends and family, and family in particular. Um, and he's got a lot of love to give, and he, you know, just embraces all his friends, and and he's just genuine. Sort of his sense of fairness uh, in the world, I think, uh, that I love about him. Um, mm. Like he doesn't like sort of you know, unfair injustice things that go on in the world. Um, he's got like a really good social moral conscience, I think, and that's one of the many things I love about him. I realized Will was the one, I guess I would have been 22 because Will really inspired me. I was I was really falling in love for the first time and you know, I, I dated some other people before, but I'd never been in love and, and Will inspired me to tell my parents and tell the rest of my family that you know that I'm gay, and I, I have no I have no problems with that. Um, I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with who Will is. But um, you know, his love for me and our love for each other it, it just fit. And uh, and I knew I knew I wanted to be with him forever. It was on December 12th, <laughs> and we were on we were on the beach in Puerto Vallarta, and we were walking around, uh, and we saw this really great restaurant right on the beach uh, called La Palapa. Eventually, he said, "Well, you know what? We've got a reservation there for six o'clock." And I kind of thought, like, "Well, that's really weird. How did you get a reservation there?" So I got a little bit suspicious that something was up, but I didn't know anything at that point. But it's six o'clock, and we go to La Palapa, and the maitre d takes us out to our table past the beach tables out to this one single table right in front of the water with these tiki torches all around. And it was our personal table for the evening. And we had a nine course dinner. Uh, it was delicious. The menu was completely planned by Will, taking into account the fact that I'm a really picky eater. Look at this, this is Will's romantic getaway. He's out in the bathroom right now. I'm using quotes, bathroom. I think he's gonna ask. Yeah. I said, oh, um, did you enjoy the dinner? And you said, oh, yeah, yeah. yes. And like, you know, oh. there's one more course. <laughs> <laughs> and the last course was in a box. In a box. That's and he proposed. And it was a ring. There was. This one. But it was our most romantic night that I've ever had. Thank you, honey. It was very sweet of you. <laughs> I'm glad you said yes. <laughs> That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good, good night you, you 
you guys have gotten this far, and that's a tough thing, especially in this day and age. So just keep on doing what you're doing. I think you have to be patient. You have to listen. Uh, you have to wake up every day and think, you know, what can I do today for my partner that can make their day a little better, a little easier. I think if both people wake up every day and, and have that mindset, then uh, you've got a fantastic recipe for a successful life together. And it really is uh, a show of your love for the other person. Forged from the depths of Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> These are the rings of our lives. My only advice is that they still stay happy and uh, still stay fun and goofy and not take life too seriously. And, you know, I wish them a lifetime of happiness.